Hi, in this video we shall be developing the principal component analysis using data and uh, as you know the principal component analysis is a statistical methodology that is used in order to uh, to make dimension reduction uh, and for this tutorial we will use a data set containing information on uh, a, some individual uh, especially uh, 12 individual uh, with information in revenue, uh, consumption, number of household members, uh, professional experience and the level of study. So we will use this data set in order to uh, summarize information in uh, uh, individual uh, uh, socioeconomic information on individual and finally we will show you how to use this information in order to uh, to calculate an indicator that will uh, give us uh, information about uh, the level of the household so we have 12 household and we will build the principal component analysis using Stera in order to build an indicator so if the first time you are watching one of my videos do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video so coming back into our principal component analysis to run it in Stera is quite simple just go in statistics and then uh, uh, drop down to uh, more uh, multiple multivariate analysis and then uh, choose a uh, factor and principal component analysis and then finally choose a uh, principal component analysis click on ok and uh, the next step is to select a variable to include in the PCA so the first variable will uh, drop individual will uh, use uh, revenue uh, consumption expenditure a number of household member professional experience and uh, level of study those five variables will be used in our principal component analysis so as we have selected all our variables we just need to click on ok and then uh, you will see the uh, principal result of our principal component analysis, uh, especially uh, Hagen value table and uh, principal comp uh, vector, uh, vector coordinate in the five uh, axes, uh, five component principal component so that we can see that uh, our first uh, component uh, have uh, cumulated uh, have uh, represent. Uh, almost 70 percent of information contained in our sample the second component have uh, 10 percent and the cumulative proportion is 90 percent so if we use the uh, kaizen uh, criteria we will keep uh, all axes that have at least the mean uh, proportion the mean proportion is 100 divided by 5 that is 20 percent so we keep axes that uh, have uh, more than 20 percent uh, um, 20 percent that contain almost 20 percent of information in uh, in the sample so we will keep the first and the second component in order to make our principal component analysis so further uh, information we can have on our principal of component analysis are for example uh, Hagen value plot so we go in statistics then uh, multivariate analysis and then click on uh, multi uh, factor uh, and principal component and choose post estimation then uh, we can uh, choose uh, the uh, screen plot of Hagen values click on ok and then we will uh, then click on ok and we can see that uh, the screen plot of our principal component of our Hagen value are there we can also uh, have some uh, post estimation uh, information in multivariate analysis factor and principal component analysis principal uh, post estimation and uh, we can uh, have a variable plot so in graph that we plot all 
our variable in the first two components we can choose uh, three but we keep the by default value of the first two uh, two components we represent our individual in the uh, two components that are the component that we are um, most important to uh, represent our individual and we can see the scatter of our uh, individual that is uh, represented here so the most important information that i wanted to show you is how to uh, use your principal component analysis in order to build a an indicator based on uh, on just those data so we'll uh, go on statistics uh, the first uh, we will just uh, we will first uh, predict our principal component data coordinate of our individual in the uh, in the component in the uh, principal component so we'll go in statistics and then uh, go to uh, post estimation click on post estimation and then uh, we'll select predict we'll predict score variable fit value and a residual so we will select predict and uh, for this uh, case we will predict uh, principal component 1 pc1 and principal component 2 so uh, as uh, i will uh, select the first two components because our hagen value uh, distribution uh, using uh, kaiser criteria uh, show that we can just use the first two components in order to summarize our information our information so we'll use just the first two components in our analysis in order to build our indicators let us first predict our first two uh, components that are coordinate of our individual in the uh, two components so then click on ok and we can see that uh, two variables have been generated uh, that are variable on individual uh, representing the score of uh, our individuals in the uh, in the two components so to build our indicator we will uh, just uh, calculate a, a new variable that will be a uh, a mean of our first two components and the ponderation of uh, the uh, the weight of our uh, mean will be uh, the uh, the percentage of our uh, component divided by the sum of percentage uh, contained in the first uh, in the axis that will be or has been uh, choose to be used in our analysis so we, are, we have chose uh, we have chosen we have choose the first two uh, components so our indicator that i will call id id no so i will generate the variable called id that will be equal to uh, our first component multiply by the wake the wake will be uh, 0.7977 divided by the cumulative percentage of first two axes which is uh, 0 uh, 0.1990 multiply by the pc1 pc1 plus uh weight of the uh, second component which is uh, uh the percentage of the second uh represented by the second axis the axis which is uh, 0 0.1990 negative uh 0. Uh, 7977 divided by the uh, uh, cumulative percentage of the two axes which is 0 0.1919 all this will will be uh, multiply uh, by the uh, pc2 so then we click on OK and we can see that our index has been generated. We can uh, label it and for now we keep it and the indicator that will have been calculated uh, as we can see in our variable uh, 
data can be used in order to compare our individual so that the individual which have the higher index will be the uh, household with better condition so and in our database we can see that uh, the individual that has the highest uh, index is the second individual and we can see that the uh, revenue is uh, very high compared to the order and we can see uh, that uh, uh, this, this household have higher consumption and less number uh, and number of member in the household is very slow so it's the uh, household that is having a good performance in terms of uh, social uh, social level so that's it for this uh, tutorial and we hope it have uh, very well help you uh, understand how to run principal component analysis in stata as well as uh, indicator building and if you have not yet done so do subscribe to the youtube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next publication and uh, let us uh, see you uh, very soon in a new video